Hi guys, Aubrey here with the Leonardo and Leo at home. And today I'm coming to you from my living room. So hashtag social distancing. And I have two very special guests with me today. First off, I have my own kiddo, Talon here. Hi, my name's Talon. <laughs> and we also have Mindy with the Moondy Project. Mindy, can you kind of remind our viewers about uh, what the Moondy Project is? Yeah, hi everyone, I'm Mindy and I'm the Associate Director of the Moondy Project. We are a music nonprofit that breaks down socioeconomic and generational barriers to provide quality music experiences for all. And today we're breaking down some digital barriers as well. And we're gonna help everyone out there at home as well as Talon and Aubrey make their very own brain stick. I'm so excited. I am so excited as well. I think this is the perfect way to end our Sound of Science week. So tell us what we're doing. All right, so we've got some materials that you should be able to find mostly around your house. So we're gonna go through those things so you can get all prepped and ready, and then we're gonna put our rain stick together. Okay, so first of all, we need a cardboard tube. So this can be anything. It looks like Talon and Aubrey, they have a paper towel tube. Mine is a bigger one because it came from like a poster board that was inside of that. You could, you could use anything you can find. Um, probably a paper towel tube is your best bet. Or it could even be like a tube from the inside of some foil or something like that. Okay, so we've got that. And then we're going to need that foil. So lucky you've got that, you've got your foil. We are going to also need some construction paper. We don't need very much, just one piece will do. One in your favorite color. Um, we've also got our ruler or something straight so you can draw a straight line later on. Perfect. We need two rubber bands. So these can be like, you know, little rubber bands you get at the grocery store from the paper. These are actually hair ties of mine. Um, we're also gonna need a few uh, brown paper grocery sacks, right? So we love the idea that we're using materials that have maybe been used before for something else. So if you use some, some brown paper sack, you guys used yours for painting before, right? So. It was our drop cloth, so you'll see little splatters of paint on our brown paper bags. And we used it as a drop cloth for one of our art projects the other day. And now we're going to use it yet again. So it's good that I held on to it. And, you know, I was just thinking we'd use it again for art, but it turns out we're going to use it for a rain stick. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> also, a wooden spoon. So it can be any size of wooden spoon. It looks like, yeah, so we're gonna use this to help coil our foil. We need scissors, glue, and also one third a cup of rice. Now, if you don't have rice, you could also use beans. You could use a combination of beans and rice. There's, you know, you could use some other grain you have in your kitchen. Use what you have. All okay. right. So even I was thinking my two year old right now is outside playing so that we can be making our ring stick and he could pick up little rocks for us or we have wood chips in our backyard, something that he could help us collect and count. And then that could also add some new sound. Yeah, in fact, traditionally the rain stick was obviously not made with cardboard tubes. It was made with um, either like like wood, like hollowed out wood or cactus, like hollowed out cactus. And they actually did use little pebbles in it traditionally. So that'd be really cool to try it with the pebbles. Okay, so let's move on and let's get all of our materials prepped. So let's start with our foil, cause oh, that's a fun part. So take your tube, you want to pull out a piece of foil that is the same length as your tube, right? And then rip it off. And so we're going to take it long ways and we're going to hold it up or roll it. It's kind of more of a rolling thing. Roll it into a snake and you can squish it and scrunch it and make it a snake. Okay. So once you've done that one time, go ahead and do it again at home. You're gonna need two of these that look like this, right? Yeah, I got one got those already. Yep. <laughs> okay, and then this is a really fun part. We're going to take our um, snakes and we're going to wrap them around our wooden spoon. So you're just gonna take it starting at the top and wrap it around. 
so that it's a Either nice part. coil. This is what's going to go inside of our rain stick. So I was talking about th the traditional rain sticks a minute ago, and so actually those, they actually had nails or other really sharp things, cactus spikes that they would drill in from the outside. But we are going to use these coils instead so that the rice or the beans or whatever, or the rocks have something cool to go through. And that's what's gonna make it sound like rain in our tube. But we like the foil cause it's a bit more family friendly for two year olds or, you know, or even, you know, 10 year olds or whatever. Okay, so put your foil coils to the side and let's go ahead and we're going to prep our paper bags around our, um, I gotta coil my other foil there. Okay, so we're going to put our paper bag around our cardboard tube. So um, with our grocery sacks, I just cut out pieces that look like this. So you guys already did that at home, um, Aubrey and Talon, right? And, and my, my stick is bigger than theirs, so that's why mine's bigger than theirs. So we're just gonna take this and we're gonna glue it around our cardboard tube. And you might need to um, get two pieces of a brown paper sack um, to cover your whole, your whole cardboard tube. And this step, so we're really, we're using what we have, and you could also paint your cardboard tube, like say with some tempura paint or something else, but we really wanted to use what you have on hand at home. You know, so, I was thinking if you're using your wrapping paper tube, you could okay. actually take your wrapping paper and use it and also make a really pretty, okay. cute little tube. Yeah. I can even see it being cool to do sort of like a collage. You could take old magazines and put interesting pictures that have cool patterns on them or something. So there's yeah. a lot of creativity that you can, you can put your own creativity to use with this part. And we're just going to hold down the glue, make sure that it's sticking. Okay, so we're back. We've got our tubes, right? Okay, we've got it. Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's move on. We're gonna make our end cap. So you wanna use another part of your paper bag, or maybe if you have a really big one like me, you need to use a separate bag. So what you're gonna do is draw a pretty big circle. You want it to be bigger rather than smaller, because these are gonna be your end caps. So you're gonna take these and you're gonna make two things that look like this. All right, we are ready. We've done that step. All right, so this is exciting. We get to really start assembling it now. So let's take one of our caps and we're gonna put it over one end. And then we're going to take our rubber band and put it around the end here. I think we'll have to loop it twice. Nice work, good job. Okay, awesome. Okay, so let's take our uh, let's take our coils of foil now. So here's one. I'm gonna stick it right in my tube. Oh, here it goes. Okay, let's take our other one and put it in right on top of there. We got them in. Ours fit perfect. Can you see in there? Awesome. It Yes, I can see it. There they are. Okay, coils of foil. I love the coils of foil. Um, okay, so now, this is exciting, we're gonna put our rice in. Now, as I was telling you guys, we gotta be careful. We do have a rubber band down here, but you should kind of hold on to it so that your rice doesn't bust it apart. We'll do it in a minute. Yeah, so let's put our rice in. Now, if you've got a funnel like I do, I'm gonna actually use my funnel. It might be helpful. If you don't, you can just make a people funnel like Talon's doing. Eh, we still drop some, but that's okay. it half the fun, right? It's half, yeah, absolutely. Okay, right. so now that we've got <laughs> our rice and our uh, bottom cap and our coils of foil on, we get to do our top cap. So take that, 
and put your rubber band on. Rubber band just broke. Here we go. Put your rubber band on. Okay. All right, so now if we hold both ends, we should start to be able to hear. That's cool. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So now we get to do the finishing touches here. And this is where you can really bring your own creativity into it. So we're gonna give you some ideas, but you could paint it, draw on it. You could tie different things around the ends. So let's go ahead and first thing, let's just, let's fringe our ends a little bit, our caps. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and just kind of put some cuts, you see, into my end piece. Let's go ahead and take our glue and we're gonna put some glue, just reach your glue up underneath your caps and put some glue up there to help it stay on. This is just a little extra support. To keep the rice inside. Just maybe two or three spots. Two, and maybe right in there. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and once you guys are done, um, your construction paper, you're just going to cut a couple of bands from your construction paper. So you might just want to use your ruler to make a straight line. And I think that Talon and Aubrey already did this at home. We have one on our other one. And we also wanted to reduce and reuse and recycle. So not only did we use our paint drop cloth, but we had some scraps of um, construction paper from other projects. So we just kind of cut around the other scraps and tried to, again, use what we had. We can't run to the store and get things right now. So just finding stuff in our basement and making it work. Yeah, it's a really fun way to use up stuff that's just been hanging around for a long time. I think you could use fabric here, you could use ribbon, like I said, you could use yarn or um, beads, you could even put beads on a piece of yarn. There's a lot of possibilities. I have a little surprise um, decoration that Talon doesn't know about. Ooh. So when he's done with his strip, I have a surprise while I glue on the next one. He gets to choose which Spider-Man sticker he wants to put on his oh, stick today. Uh, yes, there's all kinds of fun things you can make with just things you might have around your house, or even if you're not, not feeling super crafty, you can just fill up cups with water and, and make a, a kitchen xylophone like that, even put some food coloring in them, make it pretty. Or you could even just put some beans or rice in different containers, like Tupperware containers, and make a percussion instrument that way. So look, our rain sticks. Are they done? Look at us go. Okay, let's, let's, let's do it. Ready? You want to There we go. All right. There we go. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, so we made our rain stick. I had a lot of fun with you, Mindy. What do you think, Talon? It was really cool. I like how you had to use the chili foil to make the sounds. Like, it feels like a real rain stick, and I really like it because you can also fix it however you want. Awesome. So we got a kid approval. That's always great. <laughs> yeah, try it at home and show us your rain sticks in the comments. We want to see them. Thank you so much, Aubrey and Talon. I had so much fun doing this with you today. We had fun too, and we will see you next time. Thanks, Mindy. Bye.